Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I'm a tutor on Czech Tutors. I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology, but today we're going to be talking about lateral inhibition. So lateral inhibition occurs when an excited neuron reduces the activity of its neighbors, and so this disables the spreading of action potentials from excited neurons to neighboring neurons in the lateral direction. And this basically allows enhanced sensory perception. So there's several ways in which lateral inhibition occurs. Um, visual inhibition, auditory inhibition. Um, so take for example visual inhibition. Lateral inhibition increases the contrast and sharpness in the visual response. And so you might expect that inhibition would decrease the visual system's ability to represent information. But this process actually greatly increases the visual system's ability to respond to the edges of a surface. And so this inhibition occurs in the retina. So when you're in the dark and there's a small amount of light, um, this light enhances the photoreceptors. However, only the rods in the center of the stimulus will transduce the light signal to the brain. The rods on the outside of the stimulus, on the other hand, will send a dark signal to, the, to, the, to another portion of the brain. And this contrast makes the image sharper. So there's another type of inhibition, tactile inhibition, um, regarding the touch. And the regions that correspond to a location on the somatosensory cortex are mapped by um, this thing called a homunculus. And the corresponding region of skin is called the receptive field. And so the receptive field has two regions, central excitatory region and peripheral inhibitory region. And so when an area of skin is touched, the central region activates and the peripheral region is inhibited. And this creates a contrast in sensation and allows the precision of the touch to be enhanced. And that's a little bit about lateral inhibition. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.